Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And like always, I'm Brian. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a high hertz monitor, either 120 or 144 hertz, on an AMD system. And I'm going to be doing it Chanley style. Now before I get into this guys, I really want to thank my friends Gary over at Reviews by Gary on Twitter and my other friend Daniel, which is I Walk It's Dead, also on Twitter. They helped me through this. I thought I was having problems with Catalyst, but I found that you don't even need to do this through Catalyst. I'm going to show you guys how right now. So I'll go ahead and show you right now that open up Catalyst, you go to Preferences, you go to Radeon uh, Additional Settings over here pulls this up and it already says my maximum resolution is 144 hertz which is awesome then you can come down here and go and do custom resolutions and all that and force it through your graphics card but you don't even need to do that this is this is why I don't like catalyst it's just a weird interface and I've never understood it it's probably just a personal preference go to display settings right click on your desktop go to display settings go to advanced display settings come down here to display adapter properties go up here to monitor then you click over here and you click on 144 hertz, 120 hertz, 100 hertz, whatever your monitor has available, that's what you're going to click on. Mine happens to be 144 hertz. This is an Acer indiscriminate uh, letter vomit. It's nothing special. It's not a predator. It's just a decent starter high hertz monitor. So hit apply. Give it a second. Keep the changes. Hit OK. And now we have a high hertz monitor. Uh, go back into display settings, monitor, see, 144 hertz. And then now you can game at a higher refresh rate, and we can even, I'd say we can check it on the display settings, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to show me um, everything the way it is. I hope you guys are noticing that it's actually updating much faster than it was before. Um, yeah, it's not giving me any real options to switch it in these settings but either way that's how it's done really easy actually much easier than doing it uh, through Nvidia now the other part the other portion of this which is actually the problem I had is I didn't realize that on AMD obviously they're opposite of Nvidia so what you're gonna do is you're going to plug it into the bottom display port or top depending on how your card is oriented it's going to be the black dual display or dual DVI uh, connection. If it's red, it's going to be a single link instead of dual link. And you want the dual link, otherwise your monitor will not be able to enable the high refresh rate. That being said, that's pretty much everything in a nutshell. I hope that, guy, I hope that helped you guys. I know there's a lot of NVIDIA ones out there, so that's why I felt like I needed to do the AMD one. And once again, thank you, iWalk, and thank you, Reviews by Gary, for helping me with this project. If this helped you guys out, give me a thumbs up. Maybe go check those guys out on Twitter. Give them, uh, give them a shout-out for me. really appreciate the help and all the things they do. They're really good friends. Uh, all my social medias are down in the link below. I also follow them if you want to, you know, somehow go into my follows and, you know, all that jazz like that. Anyway, this was a Chanley style tutorial on how to set up a monitor at a higher refresh rate. Done Chanley style.